Hello, welcome to Annoying Chic Beauty channel. It's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial using MAC Cosmetics, and that's because I haven't really bought anything that was new and exciting. But today I'm going to do a look using products from the Tropical Taboo Collection and the Nudes and Metallics Collection. I wanted to do something different, so today I'm doing a kind of summer into fall season transition makeup look that was inspired by an old Christina Aguilera look that she wore in years ago during I think an MTV award show and I really liked it because it's kind of a smoky orangey brown with a cranberry plummy color and a little bit of a smoky liner and she had like kind of a reddish cheek with a light pale peachy new lip and her skin tone was actually a lot darker than mine she had a tan and obviously I'm not tan so I adjusted the look to my skin tone and my style so I hope you like it and let's get started recently I got new products from Origins this is the ginseng line and I heard about them from Jaclyn Hill who is a makeup artist and does tutorials on YouTube. She raved about these two products so I thought I'd give them a try. The first one is the ginseng refreshing eye cream. It's supposed to depuff and reduce dark circles under the eye area and this is kind of a makeup and skincare in one because if you can see real closely it has a little bit of a pearly pinky beige shimmer to it and what this does is it helps to illuminate and brighten the eye area so I just use this only in the daytime because you don't want to really brighten at night before you go to sleep but I just use a tiny bit with my ring finger and pat it under my eye area and it really just helps to brighten my eyes and make me feel or look a little bit more awake then I have the Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer and this is a really nice moisturizer for the daytime and nighttime. It's very lightweight and it has a kind of citrusy smell to it. It really kind of perks up your face when you open the jar and it's really lightweight, kind of a water gel texture and it dries really quickly into the skin so it's great for applying makeup and it has I think coffee bean and ginseng which helps to boost um, hydration to the skin so I've been really loving these two origin products. I already applied part of my base. Today I use MAC Face and Body Foundation in the color C1, applying it with my fingers. Since I'm doing a kind of dramatic eye look, I wanted my skin to be light and natural and just fresh looking. And then for areas that I needed a little bit more coverage, I use MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC20, applying it with my 286 brush. I also already prepped my eyes, first applying MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with my fingers, just applying a thin layer from lash line all up to the brow bone, and then I wanted to highlight my brow bone a little bit more and to help define the brows a bit with MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW15. I just buffed it in with my 286 brush. And then for the brows, I didn't have my MAC Eyeball Pencil, I ran out, so I just used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Medium Ash and then kept the brows in place with the clear brow gel. The first color I'm going to apply is Exposed. It's a satin finish medium orangey terracotta brown color. Um, MAC Texture Eyeshadow will be similar and so I'm going to use my 217 brush and I'll apply it this way right into the socket of the crease. First creating that defined line all the way in and I'm just going to kind of blend it back and forth and then also buff it out and today I'm not going to use any brow bone highlight I just kind of want the eyeshadows to fade into the skin so I'm just going to keep buffing almost all the way up to the brow bone next I'm using Crimson Trice it's a shimmery medium deep reddish plum color Black Cranberry is similar but a little bit lighter and I'm applying it with my MAC 226 brush. It's a medium large pencil brush and I'm applying my crease color first because I want it to create the shape and it'll be more defined and so I'm just going to use the tip of the brush to lightly stencil out the shape. I'm just applying it right into the socket right where exposed eyeshadow was. And then to blend out the edges, I'm using my MAC 224 brush to buff it out. 
To fill in the lid, I'm going to use MAC Glimpse of Flesh eyeshadow. It's a satin finish peachy beige color. I think MAC Soft Ball might be similar. And I'm going to use my 239 brush and just pack it on all over the lid. Stopping right at the crease. By applying the lid color last, it helps to define the crease colors a little bit more. I'm going to darken my outer corners and my crease using Sketch Eyeshadow. This is actually a permanent shade, but I only have it available in this pre-made palette. I don't even know which collection this is from, but this is the Thunder Eyes 4 palette, in case you're wondering. And it's a kind of satin, velvety, like super dark, burgundy color. I really love this color. It really works on so many skin tones and eye colors. And so I'm going to use my 219 brush. It's a smaller pencil brush. And I'm first going to supply from a diagonal line at the outer corner, like so, and then kind of bring it up into the crease. Just creating that outer V. Then I'm going to take my blending brush and buff it out so it's well blended. You can make this as dark and dramatic as you want. I cleaned up the fallout under my eyes and now I'm going to apply my under eye concealer. I'm going to use the Select Cover Up in the shade NW15 with my 286 brush. And I've been really loving this concealer a lot lately. And that's because it's lightweight, gives medium coverage, but if you actually let it sit on the back of your hand as you're doing your eye makeup, it actually kind of thickens up and it gives you a little bit more coverage and it's really easy to blend. So I just use my brush and apply all the way almost down to the nose and then create this triangular shape right here following the cheekbones. And then just fill in that gap. And then I just use my ring finger to pat it in. This concealer is one shade lighter than my skin tone. You don't want to go too light because it can create a ashy undertone and make your eye area really kind of gray and dark. And you also want to use a pink base or a peachy base which will help correct the dark circles. To set my under eye concealer, I'm going to use my Hourglass Earth Real Light Ambient Lighting Powder with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush and just pat the powder right on top of the concealer. This will give it that extra brightness. Then I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder in the color Light Plus with the same brush and just pat it on um, throughout my T-zone just to take away the shine. I'm going to repeat the same steps that I used in the crease on my bottom lash line. So I'm first going to use exposed eyeshadow. Just sweep it all the way across. Then I'm going to apply Crimson Trice just on the outer two-thirds of the eye. Next, I'm going to apply liner and I'm going to use Milani Infinite Liquid Liner in the color Everlast. It's a basic black and I'm using my MAC 231 brush to apply it to my top and bottom waterline and on the top lash line. To help soften the bottom liner, I'm going to use Sketch Eyeshadow with my 219 brush and just smudge it along the outer third of my eyeliner. Just to give it a slightly smoky effect. The last eyeshadow I'm going to use is Nylon. It's a frosty pale yellow gold and I'm going to apply it with my MAC 239 brush to the inner corners just to highlight. I'm going to lightly bring it onto the lid. For my false lashes, I stacked two MAC number no. 2s for the length and then one MAC number no. 3s for the volume. For my blush, I'm going to use MAC Stylish Me. It's a satin shimmer, muted, kind of russet reddish color. It really ties in with the eye makeup and I'm going to use my multitask brush 
and apply it starting towards the back of the cheek. I don't want to apply it too much in the front, otherwise it kind of looks a bit clownish or doll-like. And so I'm just going to apply it right back here. I'm just kind of patting it on a bit and then blending it outwards. This color is very pigmented, so you don't need a whole lot. You want to make sure you blend it really well. To highlight the cheekbones, I'm going to use MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Adored. It has a mix of a shimmery coral and a shimmery light pinky beige. And I actually bought it for that pinky beige color. I thought it was really pretty as a highlight. And I'm going to use my MAC 188 brush. So I'm just going to take that light color, like so, tap off the excess, and then just slightly buff it onto the tops of my cheekbones and lightly over the blush which will help soften the color I'm going to go with a softer color for the lips first outlining them with MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil it's a light medium beigey brown color and I'm only going to outline, I'm not going to fill them in Then I'm going to use Flamingo Lipstick by MAC. It's a light milky pinky coral color and I'm only going to apply it to the inside of the lip where I didn't apply my lip liner. And to help blend in the lipstick and the pencil, I'm going to use MAC Flora Abundance Lip Glass. It's a pale milky peach color and I'm just going to dab it onto the center of my lips. And I'm going to use my fingers to pat it and blend it in. The last product I'm going to apply is Benefit Lula Bronzer. It's a matte bronzer and I'm applying this last because I wanted to see how the rest of the makeup looked and I didn't want to apply too much. So I'm just going to use my MAC 168 brush and just apply a little bit under the cheekbones just to lightly contour. Then we're going to take a tiny bit and apply it along my hairline and temples just to add a little bit of warmth to my face. The look she has is kind of a bronze tan look all over but since I'm not tan all over I just want to add a little bit of color just along the perimeter of my face. That's it for the tutorial. I hope you like it. Let me know how you transition your summer makeup looks into the autumn season in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.